Well, hello again, YouTube. Petey Two Finger here. Whew. I'm bushed. So I have seven new pieces of music tracked. I'm working on an album this time of the year, typically about a week into January, is about when I want to start getting going on recording. Um, previously, uh, for a month and a half beforehand, I used this guitar here and I would just kind of fart around and play it until until I came up with something something like that come up with a little idea and use this same webcam to film myself playing it and then I put through that uh, in a folder so I've got I know I have one thing that I use this new multi-effector that I got a cheapo uh, Nux MG 300 and that had a patch with a real lot of compression and some delay and I, I came up with this thing that's kind of like a half of an A chord and you slide up and slide down and it's it's got a little sway feeling to it. I don't know if I had anything else. I think I just had that one thing uh, in that one single key and then I was doing a like ascending kind of octave in D. So, yeah, I have that. I know that was the last idea that I recorded, and I was like, ooh, that's going to be good. So make sure that you don't forget about that. And I have a folder with something that says difficult, difficult to play. Then there's a few ideas that have uh, distortion on the guitar. Now, this, so far, these songs, none of them have distorted guitar. They're all clean guitar or acoustic there's a lot of acoustic guitar so pretty much i mean i've got um a guitar synthesizer <clears throat> a gr1 i've got a vg8 i've got um soft synth synthesizers and then my um acoustic and a few different electric guitars so i've been using drum machine sound and then on the intro and then that'll change up to an acoustic kit a lot and then for the outro uh switch back to that drum machine sound and then uh lay down acoustic tracks with some electric and they're clean these electric guitars are clean um and then i'll do uh a bass and i'm using the same i'm using guitar rig five really sounds good and that's connected with a fiber optic cable there's two computers the recording computer has a firewire interface it's an m audio 410 firewire interface i paid 20 bucks for it and the other computer has an emu 0404 which is an old sound card that's got a uh, bunch of breakout cable a real lot of cables hanging out of the back of it and one of them is spadiff or uh, optical so i'm running a fiber optic in between and when i do the bass that's done on the other computer and i'm using the same type of uh, patches like very uh, one of them is called the ox and that's um John on Twistle. There's one called Jump Bass, but they're very kind of uh, a lot of treble, like kind of almost distorted sounding bass patches. Um, 
when I do the keyboards, I'm using Spitfire Labs and uh, Yuhi Zebra 2 and Yuhi Hive, and also um, Organize Organizer, which is a organ a B3 Hammond. Man, does it sound good! I went through all of the free Hammond organ VSTs I could find, and this Organizer one, man, it's I really like it. Uh, using the GR1, I've been using Vibes and Flute. And then, like, I use the Deep for an effect and a couple other things, but mostly the, just Vibe, which has a really cool stereo wobble. And on the VG8, I've been using a couple of acoustic uh, 12 strings um, the Rickenbacker and the Live and Love and May Jimmy Page 12 string double neck which is a very, like, almost banjo sound. Like, it's really, uh, it's got, it's a very different frequency response than the Rickenbacker 12 string. So, um, as far as these songs, like, there's seven of them now, and they all use basically the same type of sounds. So this is going to be more cohesive to like an album where these songs fitting together. There really isn't any uh, heavy guitars on the rhythm. Um, I do use distorted guitars for uh, soloing, and there's, there's a good amount of soloing on it. I mean, I don't really play a lot of lead guitar, but there there is. There's some dual lead. One thing that I really want to go back and implement is some reverse. I want to do um, the effect version of that, which is um, not where you're recording and then flipping it, but when you're using a device. And that's more of an effect. Um, one of my heroes, Adrian Ballou, does that. And my favorite guitar player, Rob Fetters, does that a lot. He used to, he used to uh, really do it a lot later on he hasn't been doing it as much and i think he's been blending more straight guitar along with it but um yeah i'm a couple of these tunes you know i'm, I'm in the process of like I'm, I'm getting close to wrapping it up and i'm hearing it i'm listening to another like gee that's really what's missing is some of that work work guitar so Probably about another week. I mean, typically, I've had a lot of problems with the stool. I uh, I cut some foam. I had some thick uh, foam and cut that and taped, duct taped, like the whole thing around this drum uh, throne, drum throne that I bought. Nice drum throne. And because uh, cause my the, the next day after sitting there tracking, it was like I felt like something was really wrong with my tailbone from sitting on this. So... I ended up realizing I had another, like a very luxurious, wider diameter stool with some thick foam that I had uh, got at a resale store and that was under some clothes in the other area where I used to play with the family band with my daughters and my wife. So my wife dug that out and I used that and it's, it's a lot better. But I tell you, if I, could, if I could figure out a way to get some Oompa Loompas in here and have them you know, bring me a MIDI keyboard, bring me the bass. I could just lay here and record. Because uh, 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 between my uh, back issues and then tearing up my fingers, playing for 10, 12, 16 hours a day, I really have been needing to take a day off for each day where I make a real lot of progress and, and track a whole tune. I need, I need to take a day off, at least one day. I took two days off for this last song. Um, we Skyped with my daughter, saw my granddaughter, and then I had to, I ended up, uh, I could have stayed here by myself. My wife was home off of work. She was going to go uh, grocery shopping. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going with. I want to get out of here, you know. So I'm in no rush. I've got three tunes left. I know that one for sure is in that folder. I got that folder with those ideas. I know that one is in there. I got to do that. Uh, there's a lot more stuff in there. Uh, so I probably have enough. If not, I can write something new. Uh, looking at about a week more. Let's see. It's the 25th. 
So, yeah, probably seven or eight days before. I mean, you figure three, three, six. You know, maybe it'll be done in six days. And then I've got to throw together a video, which more than likely um, probably will be really simple. It'll be something like title cards. And if you do, if you did watch this video and you're looking forward to hearing this thing, thank you so much. I really, uh, that's awesome. I can't wait to get some feedback on it. It's very hard for me to judge for myself. Um, I do need to do some mixing. Uh, so, you know, it's probably not going to be six days and this thing's going to be up. It's going to going to be a little longer than that, but it should, it should be, it should be happening fairly soon. Hopefully what I can do is motivate myself to do, to record in a day and then do mixing the next day and just kind of listening to stuff and then bumping some stuff this here and there, bumping some stuff here and there. I know I do want to go back and maybe throw some reverse guitars in here and maybe, I mean, am I going to put sound effect beds in between the music again? Probably not. Is there going to be any vocals or computer generated speech, which is always a standby? I've always got computer generated speech on my albums. Um, I think I'm going to break tradition on this album is what this one's going to be about. And like I mentioned, going in and using specific um, colors or sounds on each device and then repeating that process has made these songs, they're all very similar. The, the music is different, but the, the uh, there, there, there is elements in there, you know, kind of playing scales going up and down was something I figured out uh, to interject into my music uh, on the last album and before that I just started writing and doing that um, and I really like the way that sounds so this is an extension of uh, Slow Malone or 02022020 the one I did last year it's uh, the rhythm guitars are all clean there's no distorted guitar but on the lead soloing which there is a good amount I think this is the most soloing that I've done um, Maybe. I mean, I, I seem to do a like the bare minimum of what I can get away with. You know, and that's because I'm I'm handicapped. Like I it's very difficult for me to play lead. Uh, I do some dual dual leads and I, I'm ha very happy with the lead playing on this. I'm I'm generally very happy with all of it. I really am. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait till it's finished. I can't wait to get away from it and come back. And then I'll be able to appreciate it for what it is. Because when you're close, when you're working on it, you just get this, ah, like it's, it's, it sucks, it's horrible, it's garbage. And then you start making mistakes in the mixes that you need that time away from it to come back and hear it and then go, oh, holy cow, that, that Leslie organ is way too loud. <laughs> so... Yeah, I got seven done and three more uh, should be happening soon. We had a little overdose with the catnip here, Kita. Got a new toy and we kept it in the catnip container. We got a big tub of catnip that I bought on eBay. And uh, he got this little, little doll, little, like someone knitted it, really colorful really cute thing and he ended up just tripping out on the catnip and then he then he came down and he looked like a little crackhead he was like <laughs> i was like oh poor baby i was petting him like it's okay it's okay you know i love you he hates me all right you guys don't forget to hug your pets and uh thank you so much if you uh if you're gonna listen to this thing um, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to put any pressure on anybody, but if you do, if you do like, do I want to say care? If, if people are going to like give this a shot and listen to it, um, that means, that means a lot to me because I know, you know, 
with the amount of free pornography that's out there, why you would want to waste time when you're online with this stuff is beyond me. So enjoy yourselves. Um, leave a comment and hug your pets, right?